And then we go to the second question, which reads as follows. A double cylinder single acting. It's a double cylinder, meaning that we have two cylinders in the system. A double cylinder single acting piston pump with a diameter of 70 millimeters and a stroke length of 150 millimeters as designed to deliver water at a rate of 0.027 liters per second. And then the question they say, determine the operating speed in rats per minute if the efficiency is 94%. And this is the information that we are given. We are told that the pump that we are using have two cylinders and we are given the diameter of each cylinder we are given the efficiency and we are given the stroke length and the rate at which the uh, water is delivered now they have told us to calculate the speed in rods per minute where can we find this value in which formula can we find this value using the, the the information that we have we know that the rate we calculate by saying volume divided by time and if we do not have the time we use the speed which will be volume times the speed and the SI unit for this will be cubic meters per second now do we have the speed yes but our speed it's in liters per second we use this scale one cubic meters that's equals to 100 liters we have it in liters we want it in cubic meters per liter so that we are so that we are able to use it provided we have we have volume on our equation we say x it's equals to 0 0.027 which is in liters we want it in cubic meters we cross multiply and divide which will give us our x which is which is our rate as 0 point as 2.7 times 10 to the power negative 5 which will be cubic me cubic meters per second yeah it's cubic and then now we come to this formula we have the the rate now in the correct si unit but we do not have the volume we have to calculate the volume remember we are told that we have two cylinders so whatever volume that we get we have to times it by two because we have two cylinders now we are looking for this for the volume volume at area times the stroke length times two because we are dealing with two cylinders volume at area times stroke length we have the area since we have the diameter and we have the stroke length then we are covered on the volume part we will say what's the area at pi divided by four times what's our d We'll say 0 0.07, 0 0.07 squared times, what's the stroke length? It's 0 0.15, 0 0.15 times 2. This will be our volume. And then, now we are having this formula. V times N. And if we want to have our rate in a cubic meters per second, we divide here by 60. This is uh, most of the time given in rats per minute, which is the SI unit they asked us to have at the end. And then we are also told about efficiency. So we have applied this. We have used the the, the 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 part where they told us that this this the the pump has two cylinders now we have to use this we have to use everything we are also using the efficiency which is 94 divided by 100 that's our efficiency so now we have the the rate 
at which water is delivered. And it is in cubics per second. Cubics per second, provided that we divide it by 60, which would be in cubics per second. We also included the efficiency. We know that the rate, but the rate that we will calculate here, because we are given efficiency, we will have to minus 6% of it, which will not be delivered. It, it can be due to a leak or whatever that can cause this efficiency to be 90, 94. And then now we have everything. Our only, our next step now is to make this the subject of the formula. And we already know that it's as a unit, it's in rad per minute. So if we just make it the subject of the formula and substitute everything, we are going to get the correct answer with the correct SI unit. So no need for conversion after uh, substituting. And then we make it the subject of the formula. Let's do this. And we say the, the speed is equals to Q times 60 times 100 divided by the volume. We know the volume will be times 2 times the the um, efficiency. I'll put it down as 94. <coughs> and then I need to substitute. Let me do it here. What's our okay our q we got that it is 2.7 times 10 to the power negative 5 uh, cubic meters per second and then now what is our uh, new, uh, our speed our q is 27 2.7 times 10 to the power negative 5 times what is our okay 60 <laughs> times 100, 16, 100. And then that's our volume. This is the value of our volume. Although I didn't get the final volume, I will put it down as pi divided by 4 times 0 0.07 squared times 0 0.15. This is the stroke length times 2. That's times 2 the volume because we are dealing with two cylinders. And then we say times nine four we already know how to get this to to this stage so from here i will just substitute remember don't forget to put the two because we are told that our volume the volume that we are the the pump that we are using has two cylinders meaning that it will deliver times two the volume that it was supposed to deliver provided we have this uh, information and then from here the speed that we are going to get is 1.4939393 rads per minute and that is what they have asked us to calculate yeah um that is basically the end of our lesson and it's basically yeah it's basically the end of our lesson I uh, will see you on the next lesson.